Here's problem 13. We want to factor it by grouping. So I'm going to take these two and group them together. And I'm going to take these two and group them together. Now I want to factor out whatever common factors exist here. 15 and 10, that's a common factor of 5. x cubed, x squared, and x squared. So a 5x squared is the most that can be pulled out of this one and this term. So 5x squared times the 3x gives me the 15x cubed. 5x squared times a negative 2 creates the 10x squared. Now here with 12 and 8, well, a 4 is the largest thing that can come out. 4 times a 3x and 4 times negative 2. Notice this piece and this piece match, so they both can be factored out front. So they're factored out front, the 3x minus 2 is, and you're left behind with a 3x minus 2 times a 5x squared and a 3x minus 2 times a 4. You're left behind with these two pieces right here. This binomial times this binomial will create all that up top. That's how we factor something. Again, if you have four terms, right away you know it's got to be factored by grouping.